As the U.S. grapples with a spike in coronavirus cases and new mask guidelines, former President Barack Obama is gearing up for his 60th birthday, reportedly planning a 700-person party in Martha's Vineyard. White House correspondent for Fox News Peter Ducey asked Press Secretary Jen Psaki about the potential super spreader event. Let's take a listen. But I would note first that former President Obama has been a huge advocate of individuals getting vaccinated. Uh, when CDC provided has provided what CDC has provided guidance on is for indoor settings in high or substantial high zones of COVID cases. This event, according to all the public reporting, is outdoors and in a moderate zone. But in addition, there is testing requirements and other steps they are taking, which I'm sure they can outline for you in more detail. People who are watching this at home and they see, well, President Obama. Can have a party with several hundred people. Should they think that it is okay for them to have a party with seven, several hundred people now? Well, we certainly advise everyone to follow public health guidelines, uh, which I know the former president, who is a huge advocate of getting vaccinated, of following the guidance of public health experts, would certainly advocate for himself as well. Joining us now to discuss is Democratic strategist and owner of JC Strategies, Jennifer Holdsworth Karp, and Senior Director of Policy at the Conservative Partnership Institute, Rachel Bovard. Welcome to you both. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, Rachel, let me start with you. What do you, what do you think is a bigger deal here? The, the, the potential optics, the hypocrisy here, or the kind of weird cor corruption that it suggests is endemic to our political system at this point, that a former president, you know, who, who was, you know, fairly you know, middle to upper middle class going into politics, is now uh, you know, hosting a, a celebrity-clad event on his 30-acre estate in Martha's Vineyard. Right on the coast, by the way, where right, he, you know, course, we're advised right, that the hoi polloi are advised to not buy property because climate change will destroy it in a matter of seconds. Uh, but if you're Barack Obama, no problem. Um, but I think a little bit of both, right? You know, most striking, obviously, right now is that we're in the middle of this you know, CDC induced panic about coronavirus again because of their deeply irresponsible statements last week, amplified by a hysterical press, you know, begging for clicks that somehow the vaccine doesn't work and somehow we're all at risk for Delta variant when we know if you're vaccinated, the risk from the Delta variant is very low. But it doesn't matter because everywhere, you know, especially where I live in D.C., you know, things are shutting down again. We have a mask mandate, regardless of whether you're vaccinated or not, regardless of how many people are inside. If you're inside, you have to wear a mask. So all these rules are being applied again. But, you know, here you have Barack Obama casually going about his 700 person birthday party with Pearl Jam, you know, in Martha's Vineyard, like nothing's happening because we know after a year that, you know, if you're an elite in this country, you have a different set of standards. And we know this, that they won't be punished and, and they know it. And that's why he doesn't even make a statement about it. Like, you know, everybody coming is vaccinated or all these things that we know he's taking precautions, but he doesn't have to say anything because he knows he's never going to get called on it regardless. And that to me in this moment is just an unforgivable sort of breach of protocol in my mind. Yeah, you know, uh, Jennifer, I'm, I'm curious if you think that this actually is kind of showcasing a little bit of a division inside of the Democratic Party. I mean, I, we're hearing a lot of stories about, well, there's a lot of division amongst Republicans, amongst the vaxxers and the anti-vaxxers. But I've actually been wondering if there's a bit more division inside of the Democratic wing where some people are saying, no, we've got to go back into lockdowns and masks. And others are saying, I'm kind of fed up with all of this. No, I haven't had that at all, actually. Not even a little bit, not whatsoever. If there's going to be a mask mandate, it's supposed to protect the unvaccinated. I think President Obama is leading by example. I wish the former president, the immediate former president, would be so great about the events and rallies that he holds. Everybody is required to be vaccinated. And by the way, show proof of vaccination. There's a testing requirement. The event is outside. I'm not invited, but uh, so I'm not going to defend it. But, you know, so what? I don't think it's hypocrisy at all. Democratic mayors and Democratic officials across this country have been the only ones leading to protect people in this country. Republicans have been irresponsible from the moment we all learned the word coronavirus. And I refuse to focus on a birthday party, an incredibly responsible birthday party, when there is irresponsibility all over this country, including elected members of the United States Senate who are, number one, still calling the virus a hoax, and number two, telling people not to get vaccinated, including an entire network 
that Mr. Ducey works for, who decided to change their mind a few weeks ago about vaccination because they were afraid they were going to get sued. That is the hypocrisy that I choose to focus on, not a birthday party that is going to follow every single public health guideline that has been put into the public. No, I see no hypocrisy there. There is no division amongst Democrats. And I live in D.C. too. Absolutely nothing is shutting down. There is a mask mandate protect, to protect those who are unvaccinated. I think that there should be a vaccine mandate, so that's not required. But because there is incredible pushback from the right wing of the party in this country, that is why we have to have mask mandates now. That's what I'm focusing on. Not a birthday party of not the former president, but the president before that, who is a private citizen in this country. I'm going to focus so real, on people who are actually hurting the citizens of America by telling them not to get vaccinated. Yeah, Rachel, so real quick, if I can respond to that. So I think the point here is that in Democrats are taking this panic and enforcing new restrictions on everyone else. Here in D.C., yes, there is a, ma a mask mandate. If you are vaccinated, you have to wear a mask. The city has over half of its population vaccinated, over 75 percent of its seniors vaccinated. And as of yesterday, had only eight people in the ICU for the entire city sick with COVID. We have 84 percent hospital bed capacity. It's a massive overreaction being imposed on everybody else. And then you have people like Barack Obama being like, yeah, whatever. You know, I'm not going to lead by example. I'm just going to, you know, have a set of standards that applies to me and nobody else. You couldn't have a party like that in D.C. if you weren't Barack Obama, I guess, is the point. And so, so I, think it's, I think it's deeply... Do you want him to overreact and have a mask mandate at his party, which you just said was an overreaction? Or do you want him to follow the public health guidelines and lead by example? I, I don't think we can have it both ways. I think when you have a number of people you know, who are going to be subject again, you know, you have mask mandates in California, you have mask mandates here in D.C. You couldn't have an event like this in D.C. You know, if, if, if I'm Barack Obama, I think you have two choices. I think you have to say, you know, either I'm not doing this party at all because, yes, you know, I agree with the Biden White House and I agree with the CDC that we are in grave peril and grave risk of the Delta variant. Or you simply say, you know what? I think vaccines work. I don't think the White House is handling this correctly. If you are vaccinated, you are protected from the Delta variant. And therefore, all of these mandates that, you know, Democrat governors and mayors are talking about are ridiculous. I think those are the two choices that you have if you're Barack Obama. Yeah. I know right now he's I know not we're choosing either. Friends disagreeing with the CDC and the FDA because somehow a Republican president knows better than the, than the FDA and the CDC. I think what former President Obama is doing is following the health guidelines. What President Biden is doing is not outwardly disagreeing and bulldozing the CDC and the FDA, which he's not supposed to do. What I do think we can focus on the hypocrisy of is, yes, there is a mask mandate in D.C. There shouldn't have been huge events that the mayor attended in D.C. That is wild hypocrisy. That is something that we can focus on. And but Rachel, I don't think what President Obama is doing is hypocrisy. Rachel, I wonder if there's some way that this this event could actually be be used to to help educate uh, Democrats about what 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 a proper way to to approach this pandemic is because in, in as you said in washington in washington dc you know when when the cdc is taking its its uh its strictest line on the pandemic the democrats have have been have been eager to say okay that's that's where we are we're we're, we're behind the cdc when the cdc had loosens its guidelines around around opening schools or or around anything else then the, the Democrats move to a much you know, stricter position than the CDC. So it's not that they're moving necessarily with, with the public health guidance. Though a lot, of, a, a lot of communities in Washington, D.C. want to be as locked down as they possibly can. I remember in the very beginning of this, of this pandemic, I was at a, a park with, with my daughter uh, on a baseball field, kind of teaching her how to, how to ride a bike, and, and a security guard that the, that the city had hired kicked us off. There were... There was there was no one you know within a quarter mile it seemed like in any in any direction but from from a long distance you know threw, threw us off this out this outdoor area and so you know you that as we talked about earlier this week you still see people in D.C. you know outdoors you know wearing a mask while they're while they're walking their dogs so maybe there could be some way to say look Barack Obama is actually doing this in a, in an okay way he's saying it's an it's an out it's an out it's an outdoor event. People are people are vaccinated. R relax, you know. Take seriously the you know indoor transmission among unvaccinated people. 
but relax about the outdoor gatherings among vaccinated people. And that then would encourage the unvaccinated to want to join the vaccinated. Is, is there some way that in, instead of, uh, you know, uh, trying, to, trying to turn this into some, uh, you know, hip, hypocr hypocritical uh, circus that we could say, actually, let, let's, let's all do it this way. We all don't have 30 acre Martha Vineyard uh, properties, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> what we all do have access to outdoor spaces. Sure. I think that's a totally appropriate way to look at it, but that's not what he's doing. Like this, it requires him to actually make that statement to say, look, I agree, you know, that vaccinated people are not at risk. That is not what the White House has been saying for the last week, by the way. You know, the CDC was saying, you know, based on a, a study of 100 people from India with an Astra, AstraZeneca vaccine, they were saying, yes, no, vaccinated people can shed, you know, the virus at higher rates. They can, they can be, you know, transmissible. And based on that, we saw a lot of hysteria. So it would require, I think, Barack Obama to say, I agree vaccines work. I do not think vaccinated people can actually spread the virus. You know, I've looked at this study. This is what I think. And that this is now how I am choosing to have a party responsibly, to your point. I think this could be a very, in, in a famous Barack Obama phrase, a teachable moment uh, for a lot of people. But he's not doing that. He's not making any statement at all. He's just like, yeah, whatever. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to have vaccinated, you know, all my guests be vaccinated. Or at least that's what the story is saying, right? I don't think Barack Obama's made a public statement about it, but it seems like he's requiring proof of vaccination and all that. But he, you know, the fact that he hasn't clarify this. He hasn't made this statement suggests to me that he just knows the, you know, he's just going to do what he wants regardless. And I think that's what people are responding to because the rest of us have to live, you know, under whatever, you know, the whims of whatever mayor we're living on or living under who decides things based on whatever their interpretation of the science has to be, which, as I've mentioned in D.C., I think is ridiculous. You know, Obama's declining to comment on this rem reminds me of uh, what people used to say about Ruth Bader Ginsburg all the time. Ruth Bader Ginsburg doesn't owe you anything. <laughs> Je uh, Jennifer, uh, Rachel, you know, thank you uh, so much for uh, joining us. Thank you. Next on Rising, Ryan Gerdusky joins us to talk about populism and wealth.